growing up, never got to partake in any school dances because I was so overweight. I was so afraid to ask any girls to the dance. And right now, I want to show you what that's all about. With his hidden camera glasses, I'll take you through my journey in my shoes. Excuse me. Hey, how's it going? I just uh, couldn't really not observe you and uh, take in your beauty. I was wondering if uh, you watch anything tonight? Uh, you doing anything? Actually, I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. All right, well, uh, enjoy your night, okay? Take care. Hey, are you doing anything tonight? Do you want to go grab a drink real quick? I'm actually dating someone. Uh, I was going to say, okay. Do I believe in true love? Of course I believe in true love. Do I believe in love at first sight? No. I think that that is purely a cosmetic thing. What could you really tell about a person on a deeper level in a moment's instance? God damn, that's good, man. Good fucking fries, bro. Yeah, yeah try it out. But hey, if you're not doing anything, do you want to head out, get a drink or something after oh, work? Thank you. No? You sure? Uh, okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know that they're there. They're they're not something that you are hallucinating. Those boundaries are there, and they're as real as the table that's in front of me. Those boundaries are real. And. They affect you. Honestly, you just seem really sweet, and I appreciate you helping me out yeah. with all of this. Uh, can I get your phone number? Is that, is that cool? No, no. I'm not interested. Oh, uh, okay. You. All yeah, right. Like theory, just no. career oriented chick. You just, I respect it, you know? Yeah. Uh, Work so. hard, play hard. That's, That's what I'm all about. Yeah. I'm all about it. Okay, well, I hope your move goes very smoothly. Thank you. Okay, take care. Unfortunately, that's all I've had in high school. I've had girls that I've been trying to kind of build a connection with on an intimate level, and they've friend zoned me because of my weight. The friend zone is a shitty place to be, my friend, because you gotta keep that connection going, you gotta give, keep that friendship, you gotta be nice to them because you feel something for them. At the same time, they feel like, oh, yeah, I want to talk to you, I want to be friends with you, I want to talk to you every day, but we're never going to date. It's never going to be like that, ever. Excuse me. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, I just uh, wanted to say that I don't think you really need any makeup. I think you feel a lot of natural beauty. So, uh, okay, thanks. I'm trying to make those changes. Now, should I make those changes? That's a whole different question. Should I conform and adapt to the culture and the society that around me that I know and I acknowledge as sick. Should I do that? I feel like at this point I don't have the choice. Women around me, especially in the city that I moved to, Los Angeles, are so shallow and so superficial and so cosmetic that I really don't feel like I have a choice in the matter. Hey, what's up? Hey, I was just on my way out actually, but yeah. Definitely caught my eye. I was, uh, was wondering what you're doing after work. Anything special I going know, on? Like uh, one in the morning. Uh, okay, well, I mean, uh, I'm a big boy. I can, I can uh, stay awake. You know what I mean? I can be okay. up all night. Nah, okay. All right, well, you seem like a real nice person, so Thank you. have a great night, okay? Thanks. It has no bearing on the type of person you are. Weight really doesn't make you. You are the person that makes you. You, throughout your life, you shape the person that you are. And, and, and that's what's important. Weight, things that are skin deep, things that can change over the course of a few months, what the fuck does that matter? That doesn't mean shit. And I've been overweight my whole life, so I want to see what it's like from the opposite end of the table. Finally. Finally, I can, I can feel what it's like to be a normal human being and to not feel that same prejudice from weight and, and obesity that I've felt my entire existence.
these past 25 years. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, there you go. Like, I have class today, but like, I don't have it tomorrow. Okay, so maybe we can maybe connect as possible. What do, you, what do you think? Maybe like, just getting coffee, getting to know each other. Uh, yeah. Um, what do you feel I about that? I can your email or your number, but I can't give you mine. Oh, you can't really give me your phone number? But I can't give you your phone number. Oh, okay. Not well, good? yeah, maybe I'll, I'll write my phone number on the, on the check. Is that it? Yeah. But you're going to contact me, right? You promise? Yes. All right, cool. Pinky promise. Pinky swear. And All you know right. How I work. Oh, that's right. You're going to come back that's, and be like, hey. That's the this best. Is the girl. Absolutely, right? Thanks. Cheers, brother. Hey, sorry, I wanted to just ask you, uh, you caught my eye when I was walking here earlier. Uh, are you doing anything after this? Or you, do you want to go out and grab a drink real quick? Be a good time, right? It'd be fun. I'd love to, but... but uh, <laughs> go figure. I mean, you're a beautiful girl, so... Yeah. Makes sense that you're married and everything, <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, you know. It's a big compliment, believe me. Didn't have a good night, so. Well, you know, a girl like you deserves to have definitely a great night. It's really fucking unfair for one man to appreciate and comment on those features of a woman, and for another man to appreciate and comment on those features of a woman. And those two people be treated so ridiculously differently. I think that besides losing weight, gaining some confidence that I've never had before is probably what I'm looking forward to the most. I guarantee you, if I lose a ton of weight like I plan on doing, and I get really fit, if I hit on the same exact women, they would treat me differently. There's no doubt in my mind there's no hesitation there when I, when I say that they really will treat me like a whole different person just for burning calories. I feel like I've had a deeper understanding of who I am and who I'm looking for and what I'm looking for by my experiences. So, no. I don't think that aesthetics and cosmetics and visual stimulation is going to affect something as crucial and important in my life as the experience of love, finding true love. And that's just something I'm not willing to compromise on whatsoever. That's just who I am.